Despite Barbie being nominated for Best Picture for the 2024 Academy Awards, Margot Robbie wasn't nominated for Best Leading Actress, and Greta Gerwig was shut out of Best Director category. In the end, these snubs are dispiriting, but utterly unsurprising. Here's why. Year after year, the Best Picture race is predominantly occupied by movies helmed by men, white men more often than not, with only a few women breaking through to secure a nomination. It's important to note that in the Academy's 95-year history, only three women have ever won the top prize. Catherine Bigelow for The Hurt Locker in 2009, Chloe Zhao for Nomadland in 2021, and Jane Campion for The Power of the Dog in 2022. It's also important to say that at the upcoming 96th Oscars, French director Justine Trier is the sole woman recognized in the category. And last year, zero female directors were nominated. This is an obvious and systemic issue. Greta Gerwig is actually a pretty fascinating example of a woman who frequently receives half-hearted, seemingly insincere honors from the Academy without actual tangible recognition. Yes, she was nominated for directing Lady Bird, but she lost to Guillermo del Toro for The Shape of Water and was up against only men. Her sophomore effort, Little Women, scored a Best Picture nod and ignored Gerwig's considerable work from behind the camera. Now, with Barbie, Gerwig has been shut out for her third critically acclaimed film. The snub is egregious, but it's also par for the course at this point. Everything's almost, like, reversed here. Margot Robbie is technically an Oscar nominee at the 96th Academy Awards, but not for her performance in Barbie. As a producer, she earned a nomination for its inclusion in the Best Picture category. This is, at face value, pretty shocking, especially when you consider that Robbie was perhaps edged out by Carey Mulligan in Bradley Cooper's biopic Maestro, which was met with mixed reviews. Robbie does something fairly spectacular in Barbie, considering that she transforms America's most famous doll into a fully realized character. Robbie's vision of Barbie, aided in no small part by Greta Gerwig's excellent yet unrecognized direction and the script she co-wrote with her partner Noah Baumbach, takes her on a journey that transforms her into a real person, someone desperate to become the one who imagines instead of being simply an idea. In doing all of this, Robbie commits one of the biggest sins possible in the eyes of the Motion Picture Academy. She's funny. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and planned choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. Comedy is so consistently overlooked at the Oscars that when Marissa Tomei won for her pitch-perfect performance in My Cousin Vinny in 1992, rumors swirled for years that presenter Jack Palance read the wrong name. Robbie's portrayal is heartfelt, emotional, and compelling, but she also goes for broad comedy, showing off the full range of her acting ability by combining pratfalls with tearful admissions. I'm not used to that having anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> The Oscars rarely, if ever, reward comedy, likely because it's not viewed as serious art compared to biopics or movies that make people feel completely depressed. Robbie's performance being ignored is yet another example of that irritating trend. Those excusing Barbie's egregious omissions in Best Director and Leading Actress might point to the fact that the movie broke multiple box office records and made Greta Gerwig the first female director to single-handedly helm a movie that crossed the billion-dollar mark. All of these accomplishments may have hurt its full Oscar potential in the end, though. Blockbusters like comedies were staunchly ignored by the Academy for most of its history, until outcry over Christopher Nolan's universally adored Batman take, The Dark Knight, won a posthumous acting award for Heath Ledger without managing a Best Picture nomination. From 2010 on, the Best Picture category expanded to 10 potential winners, usually tossing a blockbuster into the fray to appease fans and draw a bigger audience for the telecast. Movies like Black Panther, Top Gun Maverick, and Mad Max Fury Road, just to name a few, were never going to win Best Picture, but were nominated to keep complaints to a minimum. Barbie's billion-dollar box office haul has relegated it to the token blockbuster role this year. This is made particularly obvious considering that it's nominated alongside several smaller films. Oppenheimer was also a high-grossing cinematic juggernaut in 2023, but unlike Barbie, Oppenheimer is more likely to be regarded as serious because it's a historical biopic about the creation of the atomic bomb, while Barbie apparently loses artistic merit with each dollar it makes. Barbie ended up with Best Picture and Best Adapted Screenplay nominations, but it also scored two acting nods in the supporting categories. America Ferreira, who plays Mattel employee Gloria and delivers the film's most memorable monologue, earned her first-ever Oscar nomination for Supporting Actress. Unsurprisingly, Ryan Gosling ended up with a nomination for Supporting Actor, 
which is a problem. Gosling's performance is, to be fair, truly excellent. He shines in every single second of the film, committing to his role as the hapless, horse-obsessed Ken with the utmost passion. Horses are just men extenders. His dream ballet, set to the Oscar-nominated original song I'm Just Ken, is certainly one of the movie's standout moments. That said, it's a bit on the nose to nominate Gosling and not Margot Robbie considering that one of the film's main conflicts is that Ken overthrows the matriarchy of Barbie Land to install a patriarchy and become the society's main character of sorts. Nominating the only standout male character from a movie about the female experience and not the film's lead is frankly insulting, as are the other major Barbie nominations. Unless it pulls a full Argo, its chances of winning Best Picture are utterly insignificant without Greta Gerwig in the Best Director category. Its screenplay nod feels like the Academy giving a small consolation prize to a movie that feels too weird or unworthy to win the big prize. Ultimately, Barbie being overlooked in majorly important categories isn't all that shocking, but it does continue a disturbing, unsettling trend of not taking movies seriously if they're too funny, feminine, or fantastical.